Yo, what's up, Jeremy Tuesday family? You already know who it is, Quinnell Bash, dancer, choreographer, creative, and I'm back with another Train With Me Tuesday video this week. I wanna first apologize to you guys for not being here uh, for my last week's Train With Me Tuesday. I'm just getting over a cold, and literally last week, <clears throat> as you can hear, um, I was stuck, stuck in my bed, and I couldn't really get up to do anything. Um, so, I just want to apologize for that, but I'm back here with the Train With Me Tuesday, and you have just uh, launched into the very first series, which I call Talk With Me Tuesday. And Talk With Me Tuesday happens once a month, and I'm gonna start talking to you guys just about life, about encouragement, about um, showmanship, and a lot of things that have to uh, do with just regular life, but you can apply these same principles to your movement, to your dance, to your creativity, and to your craft. So today I wanna talk about uh, our process and how there's progress in our process. What does process look like? Process looks like something that you start and you hit little milestones and, and key metrics along the way in that process. What does progress look like? Progress looks like you chipping away within your process and you adding arsenal to that progress every single time. Yeah, so as dancers, I think we always wanna see the fruit of, of our progress, yet we skip the importance of our process. And the process is the most fruitful part of the whole progress. Like living in a day and age now where social media is so big and so quick and so rapid, like we want the progress today. Give me the progress today. I wanna to be good today. I wanna to have this today, yet, we don't ever look at the people's process in which they do it, right? Now, you have uh, Insta spammers out there who are, you know, uh, faking their likes and faking their engagement and, and faking their views and things like that. But then you have other people uh, like me, for instance, who have been trying to build this path for the last 11 years and just understanding that the process is the best part to get to that progress, right? Like in anything that you do, if you pick up a basketball for the first time, there's a process to it. If you pick up a baseball for the first time, there's a process to it. If you lift weights, work out, eat healthy, uh, there's a process to this, yeah? And the progress is just the cherry on top in which you are going through your process. So as dancers, um, I want us to understand, like when you take class, when you, when you train, when you dance with your crew, when you uh, substitute a class, when you when you teach a class, like there's a process uh, in which everything that we do, and I think we just have to be really, really strategic about how that how that process is because we don't want to hinder the progress. Um, I take a lot of class nowadays. I come from a freestyle background, and I always thought being a crumper and being a freestyler was the end all be all, and you can't tell me anything else outside of that. Well, that's not the truth. I mean, I take choreography now, I take tap, I take jazz, I take contemporary. And I feel like there's so much progress, um, just cross training, that it's gonna add to the process in which I already have, which is a crump foundation. Be encouraged, you guys. Don't skip the process because you want the ultimate progress. There's so much fruit within the process you don't even know. So go out, have some progress within your process, and when you take that next class, start thinking about your process. What am I gonna focus on this week? I have people ask me all the time, hey, what can I work on? Okay, that's a very vague question because what don't you have to work on? You know, what don't we have to work on? We can be better at everything that we, we do. You know, we can be better at lacing our shoes, better at uh, buttoning up our shirts, tying our ties. Like there's so much that we can be better at, yet you have to look at your situation uh, when you're in class and say, what am I gonna do today to grow? Or what am I going to do today to progress to be better, right? So to answer that question, I can't. I can't answer a vague question of what do I do to get better, right? You have to look at your process and say, what do I have to do right now in this class to ensure that I'm growing in my process? So what does that look like? If you're taking a class and you say today, I'm gonna work on dancing full out from beginning to end of class. That's your process. You're gonna see growth in that. Yeah, you're gonna see progress in that. Or if you come into class and you say, I wanna work on calming down and being uh, 
a little bit more uh, relaxed when I dance. That's great. That's your process, and then you're fighting towards progress. Start thinking about the little things that uh, can generate micro wins, and not just thinking about a big, vague picture. Trust your process, because there's ultimate progress in your process. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today with the Talk With Me Tuesday, and I'll see you guys next week with a whole nother training. Peace.